this video. Hey, what's up? This is Keisha under the Kazaya. So this message had to get out why I unfollowed all Hebrew Israelite camps, okay? This is part three. This is part three, okay? So I did a part one and part two. And of course, of course, I got a lot of backlash. Of course, brute beast, okay? Wicked dudes a bile came out and condemned me to hell and told me I was part of the two-thirds club. Talked about how I love the white man, I love Massa, all because I was bringing out spiritual truth. Now, I believe in the book of John 4, 24, it says to worship the Most High in spirit and in truth. You see, a lot of these guys come into this truth and think they're woke. Mm -mm. Just because you know who you are, does that mean that you're woke? Because back then in ancient times, Yah's people knew who they were. They knew they were ivory. Black people, so-called black folks, they knew that they were Hebrew. They knew they were Hebrew Israelites. That's the term that you guys want to call it yourselves, okay? But we weren't called Hebrew Israelites. Ivory, okay? Judah, all right? They knew that. And they still sin, and they still was judged. So now we have this whole thing going on with Israel now. Israel's at war now, okay, with Hamas. Now, I said to myself, as soon as this broke out, I was like, I know them Hebrews when I came to rejoice. And so I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, bump all them Arabs, bump all them Arabs. I know they're super happy and super stoked. But scripture talks about don't rejoice and be happy when these things are coming because you don't know it what talks you about. Stand. Don't talk be about overfilled with joy when these times come. Of course, be excited because, okay, prophecy is coming forth. Prophecy is being shown. Prophecy is revealing itself. But you don't know where you stand, okay? And a lot of guys get pride, okay? And one thing, one of the biggest issues I had with these Hebrews, like, can't, that they were full of pride. When I used to watch them, in a way... I may have thought that I was better than the next person because I was in the truth and they were not in the truth. I have repented, but they didn't. But if I can do it, and who's ever watching me, if you sincere with the Most High, if you can do it, then the person next to you can do it too. As long as you're alive, you got breath, you got blood running through your veins, okay? You can repent. If it be the Most High, well, you can repent. But these guys, as soon as you didn't agree with something that they had to say, you a two-third, you a woman, oh, forget about it if you a woman. Oh, they slice and dice you if you a woman. They slay you if you a woman, according to most of them. Women ain't going to make it into the kingdom. According to most of them, women are just known or their role is to be a servitude type woman. Cook, clean, have the babies, shut her mouth. But then in the scriptures, you had Deborah. You had Abigail, you had all these righteous women, Savannah, you had all these righteous women. And mind you, Deborah was a judge in Israel. And all the men, guess what? They ran to Sister Deborah, okay? They ran to her. They got orders from her. She was a judge. What do judges do? They open their mouth and speak. Oh, the dudes love to bring out the scripture, I suffer a woman not to teach. Excuse you. What about this righteous couple that were believers? Priscilla and Aquila that was a man and a woman okay husband and wife and they were going around telling people the good news and sharing the gospel along with Paul say whatever you want to say about Paul okay but Paul intentions was correct a lot of guys want to come in here and say women can't say nothing a woman got to shut her mouth that's not true and that's why a lot of these women that's in these camps are married to these so-called awakening Hebrews are like guys they're not happy because I want to join the camp I wanted to join a camp because they kept pushing, oh, you know, you got to join the camp. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Israel, you know what I'm saying? Need to stick together and all this other stuff. And I'm like, okay. They will bring out the scripture, gather yourself, all nation, not desired. Okay. So, of course, us being by ourselves and other nations against us, because you see how we get treated in the streets as black folk. Okay. That, that made me, that kind of put some pressure on me to want to join a camp. And I had some camps in mind. I don't care to mention names, but I had camps in mind. Oh, my ring fell off. Mm -hmm. It's getting hot up in here. And I'm just like, when I saw how the women look kind of like unhappy, uncomfortable, they look miserable. And some of the dudes look like they didn't want to be there. I'm like, is the spirit there? Is the Ruach HaKadosh there? Is the Holy Spirit dwelling among these people? Because I don't see it. 
I don't seem to more seem to be more interested in your culture and your heritage than you are being obedient to the Most High and even repenting and having a relationship with Him. Seems like you have more of a relationship with who you are. Proud to be of the chosen seed. So you say. One thing you forgot though. You forgot that your name could be stricken out of the book of life for your continued lawlessness and so many other things that you do. Shame in the name of our Father, bringing shame on our people. Many of us knew exactly who we were. We would be out there singing our Negro spirituals and praise to our Father. Some of y'all ain't interested in praising the Father. You praise who you are. I don't see it. I don't feel it. So I fell back on that. And I had a situation that was kind of weird to me. And I'm like, this is weird. But check this. I didn't plan to unfollow all Hebrew Israelite camps. I just woke up one day and I just stopped watching them. And I realized as weeks went by, oh shoot, I haven't tuned into a Hebrew Israelite video. And I had like five camps I was watching. Five camps I was consistently watching at least two more than the others. Every Shabbat, every Saturday, I was there looking at them, watching them. And I'm not going to lie, a lot of it was for entertainment because they was doing a lot of street preaching. So even though I was getting edified, because I'm not going to lie, the camps, they do edify. They do bring truth. Is it all true? Well, no. That because the 12th tribe chart is definitely suspect. They could argue that down all they want to bring out whatever books, bring out whatever hi historical facts allegedly that they have. But nothing can prove that those people who they're claiming is Issachar, is Simeon, okay, is Ephraim. When the Hamashiach says that, his people is spread all throughout the earth, the four corners, four corners of the earth. How is those sections, those countries, those islands are the four corners of the earth? And now one African country is there. But every time you see a Hamite, you stinking, dirty, filthy Hamite. Well, Ham is our cousin. Okay? All right? Again, and Ham can repent ham can come on in because other nations as it says in i believe in romans 10 11 can come on in the gentiles read the book of acts gentiles they was able to get the ruach kakadesh they were filled with the holy spirit the men of yah went around all around teaching the word of yah not just to israel but to heathens but to gentiles these camps don't bring that out and i'm like okay y'all know about the history of america then right y'all are going into slavery for enslavement so-called blacks hispanics and native americans all right that's what the bible say all right so y'all can sit up here and listen y'all can take it as a joke but guess what all the atrocities that was done to our people it's gonna be done to you times two, all right? When I do that, you would've just kept walking, man. And then when we saw him again, he gave respect and death to all you crackers, man. That's right! Oh, oh, fucking punks, man. That's right! I wanna bash your fucking head in, man! That's right! Oh, they're the young. They're the young. No one take these babies and all you got fucking hate you devils, man. Worse, man. All you white people, you so-called white people, you the devil, all right? That's right. That white bitch the most size gonna put you on a damn workout plan, all right? That's right. When you run, when you run from the judgment, all right? And all you so-called white people, you punk faggots, you going into slavery, all right? I'm right. gonna destroy you, man. Before you get any of that, get Revelation 19 to 10. And they think it's a joke, man. It's not gonna be a joke when we got a we got a, a sword and, it, and it's going across your neck, man. You're gonna get tortured too, man. Yep. Right. You're gonna get tortured, right? It's just a damn fact. And, get, and by the way, all you so-called white ones, you're gonna get brutally raped right down here. Right. 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 That's right! You little ugly cave beast, alright? And all you so-called white people, you're the devil, alright? That's right! We're right. 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 gonna destroy you, alright? Right. Have your last days of enjoying America. So the Most High is about to put your ass in slavery. You're gonna use us to do it. That's, That's right. right! You little red punks, alright? That's that according to the Bible. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Alright, it's about to be a, it's about to be 144,000 Nat Turners rose, risen up, alright? That's, That's right. right! Just gonna be uh, yeah, killing so-called white people, babies included. That's right. right! Yep. And any of you so-called black people, you black people, you ain't with it, you gonna get your head chopped off with your weave on it, alright? That's right! And I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely, I had a lot of, I was a lot of hatred, but I was steaming. I was steaming when it came up to the other nations especially Caucasians. 
because I understand the history. And I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, take it easy on them because if they don't repent and they have no remorse and no compassion for Yah's people, no, may the Most High not have mercy on their soul. I'm going to say that. But they can repent. They can repent, okay? But what they're not supposed to do if and when they do repent is to come into this truth and boast against the natural branches, which is so-called black people, which is Yah's people, okay? That's what they're not supposed to do, okay? That's what they're not supposed to do. But I was upset when I started following another ministry that to me, I feel is legit. Watchmen reports, I could say them. Watchmen reports, they're on YouTube. Check them out. It's Watchmen Yahoo and his wife, Sister Debra Yah. Good ministry. Bring out the truth. I've learned a lot from them. I've learned way more from them than watching the Hebrews like cats because they had an agenda. When it came down to the chart, when it came down to how they felt about the white man, other nations, and it's not fair. Listen, people, if you're going to follow the Most High, you need to make sure you're around people who want all the truth. You cannot surround yourself with Sadducees and Pharisees because that's what like Hebrews with like camp members are. Not all, not all, not all members are like that. But what I do pray for, what I do hope for is those who have a heart for the truth, those who sincerely want to serve the Most High in humility, I pray that you come up out them camps who is leading the most high's people to the slaughterhouse, okay? Scripture talks about Jeremiah 23. They talk about, oh, that's just for Christian pastors. No, no fool. That's talking about you. Read the book of Matthews. The book of Matthews go in on dudes. That's not talking about pastors. That's talking about people who dress apart with their fringes on, out on the street corners. That's not talking about pastors. That's talking about them Hebrews with like camp members and leaders. Okay? The book of Matthews bring out a lot of stuff too. See, what we need to stop doing is depending on Hebrews with like camp members and leaders. We need to have our own relationship with the Most High. Stop trying to learn the Most High through the ears and the eyes of other people. I watch my ministry, watch my reports. Yes, I do. But guess what? I open my own Bible and I read for myself. Guess what? I always have the Bible audio playing in my ears. I have my gospel music on. I pray. I do what I need to do. Am I perfect? Do I get everything correct? Do I fall short? Yes, I do. We all do. But we need to have our own relationship with the Most High. A lot of Hebrews like guys are filled with too much pride. And the Bible talks about pride come before destruction. Pride come before destruction. And they are leading you to be destroyed. This is not a walking apart. This is a walk that is very serious and we got to tiptoe in this walk. We can't be thinking that, oh, because we know who we are, we we're friends, we come in the truth that we good. No, we're not because many people back then knew who they were and they still was judged by the Most High. They don't have faith in the Most High like that. They don't trust Him. They don't honor Him. Look how they treat their women. A lot of these guys don't believe in chivalry. A lot of guys don't believe in romancing their wives, buying flowers for their wives cooking for their wives to giving their wives a break helping their wife encouraging their wife to be a businesswoman to go back to school to educate herself let her learn the bible so she could teach the children the scriptures okay encourage other women to follow the most high be a light onto the world these guys might encourage these women to do that to shut your mouth cook clean give me sex have my baby um sew our fringes on our clothes prepare the lamb a lot of hebrew israelites ever in the Passover because the true lamb is the hamashiach yahushua hamashiach the messiah he is the true lamb you don't need to be cooking and killing no dog on land why you think he died there should be no more death why are innocent animals that they be killed, slaughtered, and murdered because you want to eat you a piece of friggin' lamb? When he's a sacrificial lamb, that's it. If you accept him as a sacrificial lamb, there should be no other lamb to we have. But you want to eat because you want to celebrate. You want to party. Oh, I can't celebrate Thanksgiving no more. I can't celebrate Christmas no more. I'm giving that up. But in any little feast that come along, we got to feast, we got to eat, we got to get dressed up, we got to have a good time. These feast days not to have a good time. These feast days to commemorate the life of the Hamashiach, to honor him, to show love to the Most High. This is a serious thing. Get into the scriptures, read the scriptures. Everything doesn't have to always be celebrate, celebrate, celebration, and party, party, party. People rapping and dancing and acting a fool. You know, it's ridiculous what you see in these um, celebrations. 
Most High talks about how I can't stand your feast days. Your music is like noise to my ears. This feast days, they're not just talking about Christmas. Let's talk about Hebrew Israelite assemblies too as well. Because there'd be some folly going on up in there. I'm just saying, you guys, pride can lead many of you astray if you don't accept the entire truth and read the scriptures for yourself. Stop picking scriptures that is comfortable for you. I listen to the Bible audio, Matthew 23 and 24, and I had to pause because it was just like, man, these scriptures cut. These scriptures is serious. These scriptures is not a joke. The Most High is not playing. You know, we supposed to be humble. We supposed to cry. Literally, if you're a man, I don't care. Cry out to the Father. Get on your knees. I don't care if you're in your bed, wherever you are, even some private time. Cry out to the Father. Tell him every day that you're sorry and have mercy on you and your people. All this beating up your chest and we Hebrew Israelites is nonsense. It's nonsense. We have to stop this foolishness and humble ourselves because that is what the Most High is looking for. He's looking for humility, okay? He desires humility, a soft heart, a contrite heart, and a broken spirit. That's what he's looking for. When you look at the Hebrews with like camp members and leaders, do they have a broken heart and a contrite spirit? Or are they full of anger and violence? Talking about beating up people and raping women and all that other foolishness. The three uh, fantasies of women is to get raped. Right. Who are you? Who are you? Go ahead, do some research. Oh my uh, God, I've done research. research. No, okay. I've taken look up, Okay, look it up right now. Those are your daughters? My daughter, yeah. We're going to take your daughters, yeah. right? They're going to be our concubines. That's right. That's hey, somebody yeah. might pick hey, you up, too. Hi, my friend. I'll pick you up. A lot of times, these women walk around proud as shit, dressed super proud. Titties out, ass out. Proud as hell, man. Yep. There's going to come a time when the man's just going to take it. Right. Ain't going to be no police out here to save you. Yeah. Right, and I'm going to say this, man. Everybody got something, something against rape. If you didn't walk up down these streets and see all these fucking freaks and call women out there, yeah, that's a nigga. Dude, I'm talking about all these freaks, all these freak ass bitches, and you ain't had the urge to even thought of raping that bitch? Hey, you a faggot, man. So all you niggas that come up against that, you a straight faggot. Look at these little sluts, man. Little sluts like that, they want Jake, man. Little sluts. Little sluts. They want, they want niggas, man. They little hoes. Yeah, they want white hoes. Yeah, little white hoes. Cave hey, bitches. They want big, they want big black guys, man. <laughs> Fuck white bitches, man. Right. Yeah, right. White bitches. Right. Fat, ugly, nasty white bitches, man. White bitches are going into slavery, man. That's right. right. All right. All, and, but on this side, guess what? If you look good, you're going to get chased down. You're going to get, hey, look, man, because hey, rape, the rape, rape isn't just some, oh, we're going to be making love, but we love the white woman, man. We're going to grab you by your fucking leprous hair. All right. Might slice your neck a little bit. All right. Have you bleeding. Give you a, give you a few jabs, man. And bashing people's heads in when the Hamashiach come back. One guy said he was going to cut his own mother head off. On camera. A Hebrew Israelite leader said he was going to cut his mother head off and she don't repent. What kind of nonsense is that? What kind of nonsense is that you want to cut her head off? You want to kill her because you only really love that woman. If Shabbat comes around, my mother need help, she's sick or whatever, I'm not coming to her. It's a Shabbat. What? When the Hamashiach said, wait a minute now, is it cruel to do good on a Shabbat day? So if your ass, your animal needs something to drink or need to go out to eat and drink and use the bathroom, you're not going to do it because it's a Shabbat? If your animal get lodged somewhere, get stuck and trapped in a ditch somewhere, you're not going to go and help the animal or help your brother, help the animal. Oh, is it Shabbat? Is it Shabbat? Is it Shabbat? I can't do no work. Come on now. The scripture talks about don't be overly wicked, but don't be overly righteous neither. Okay? In this walk, people, it's a balance. And I've been learning that from the beginning. It's a balance. You have to discern and you have to have the right spirit to have a beautiful balance when you in this walk with the Most High. This is very, very serious, people. I'm telling you guys right now, stop depending on any pastor, any bishop, any Hebrew Israelite camp. I don't care who they are. Even a ministry that I suggested to you, Watchman Reports, you have your own relationship with the Most High because these people can't save your soul. They can help you and guide you to the Most High, but they can't save your soul. That's on you. Okay? Humble yourself. Women, don't think because you in the truth, you got your mind apparel on, your head wrap on, you think you better than the next sister. Humble yourself too, sister. Because I'm hearing a lot of jealousy and envy going on among the sisters in Israel too as well, even in the truth. Folly. This whole sex is marriage garbage. Nonsense. 
that's the white man paperwork. I ain't that. Well, don't you need to sign off on paperwork when it comes to rent, driver's license, social security card, life insurance, state ID, passport? You need to sign off on that with the white man. So you don't got an issue doing that when it comes down to marrying your woman. Hmm. That's a problem. That's the white man book and that's the white man stuff and that's the white man documentation, man. Bump all that. Sisters, stop laying with dudes who's not your husband. You go get married, you get paperwork on his behind. Fornication is not going to get you into the kingdom. What is fornication? Sex without marriage. Okay? So have a ceremony, have vows, but you need to have something that's binding you to this man. Don't just say that, oh, we have sex, we're married. That's not good enough, sister. That's not good enough. And that's why so many people are having sex and leaving these marriages in this walk. Why is there more, why are you having more sexual parts in this walk than you did when you out in the world? What sense does that make? We got to get it together. Do not allow anybody that's teaching you the word, claim to be a ministry, claim to be a Hebrew like camp, lead you down the wrong path. You have to humble yourself severely. Like the scripture says, humble yourself like a child. Because a child is a child. They don't know nothing about life. They haven't experienced anything. They don't have anything. So they're humble. And what I gotta be boasting and being proud about, that's what scripture says, humble yourself like a child. And seek truth. Seek truth. And when you desire the truth for real, then you can start to gain more truth and understanding and the wisdom of the Most High. These guys out here, they may have some knowledge, but they don't have the ruach, they don't have the spirit. And that's what you need, you need the spirit and you need the truth. So you can build a relationship with the most high. Don't allow the physical stuff like the Hebrew Israelite bands on their head and their fringes and their t-shirts and all this other stuff and keeping the feast days and keeping the Shabbat. Those are physical things. But this is a hard thing because many Hebrew Israelite men do not love their women. They just don't. When I saw Tarnishing the Awakening, that Watchmen Report ministry did, it was disgusting. The way how they talked about black women was disgusting. It was horrific. I'm like, these would be the guys in the truth representing the most high? This is wrong. This is the devil. This is Satan. This is high shatan. This is not this is not at the most high. The most high ain't in this. Anybody with a half a brain could sense that this is wrong. This is evil. They didn't even call black women women. They called black women bitches, black bitches. And they were like, oh, you black biatches. All you want to do is get pregnant, put dudes on child support. So no other woman, white woman, Asian woman, Hispanic woman, whatever type of woman. One guy yeah. talked about, man, F your family, family values. What's that? You know, I got to get into scripts. I got to get into scripts. Bump this family stuff. Man, F your kids. F your kids. Who says stuff like that? And these supposed to be the guys representing the most high? Oh, we see a 12-year-old girl. We're going to rape her. We can grab a real rape because that's going to be the kingdom. We're going to be raping girls in the kingdom. We're going to have girls 12, 11 years old in the kingdom. These are the people y'all want to follow and defend. These are brute beasts, wicked men. If you're not upset and concerned what I'm saying, then something is wrong. Something is wrong. Check your heart for real. Discern people who claim to be for the most high. Even myself. Discern people who claim to be for the most high. Let their fruits prove to you who they are. The scripture says you should know them by their fruits. Are you discerning the good fruits that people are producing or the bad fruits? What is good fruits? What is bad fruits? You've got to know the difference. You've got to differentiate. You have to differentiate between the two. What is good fruits or what is bad fruits? Find that out for yourself because preaching on a street corner cuts people out. That's not good fruit. The scripture talks about, yes, cry aloud, spare not. But you don't have to be disrespectful when you're bringing out the truth. That's not how the Most High wanted his people to be represented. We would be a light onto the world, okay? Be sharp like serpents, but harmless as a dove. How is threatening people and just disrespecting people and people with names being harmless as a dove? How are you going to bring people in? It don't matter if they're black, white, Edomite, Hispanic, Asian. It don't matter who they are. If they have an ear to hear and a soft heart that's going to be humble enough to accept the word of the Most High and represent the word of the Most High, let them do it. The more people you disrespect and the more people you push away with your horrible, horrible delivery, that's going to be on you. You're going to be judged for that. Because in heaven, they're taking notes. 
There's notes being taken and you may not be judged swiftly, but it's going to come. So I suggest anybody out here listening to me right now, watch who you follow, watch who you support, pay very close attention. YouTube. There's I have a bishop I watch here on YouTube. Now there's something that strikes me. He says that how he knows the word the most high not being for homosexuality, okay? All right, cool, we all know that. The most high is not for that. He made man and woman, period, okay? But he would say things like, well, my family know how I feel about it. My church know how I feel about it, but they're in my family. There's nothing I can do about it. And they're in my church. Pause. <laughs> when he said that they're in his church, Bishop, come on now. Come on now. And he speaks so eloquently. He dressed nice. He knows the word the most high with a good amount of scriptures. Okay, he talks about how blessed he is and how the Most High speaks to him and do this and that. But the Most High didn't tell you to kick them homosexuals out of your church and repent because there's no homosexual entering the kingdom of Yah. Okay, if you claim to be of the Most High, you have to be set apart and holy. Okay, how is this church, the house of Yah, the house of the Most High, how is that? set apart and holy having homosexuals that are living a life contrary to the most high will how is that a sanctified church <laughs>